Hi there Cancerians, thanks so much for tuning in and we are looking at September 26 through October 2nd and here's what's happening. It's a good week. We've had a rather stressful Mercury retrograde period for most of September and finally we get the all clear. Happy days are here again, only for a short time. So let's enjoy it. Cancerians. What we've got is a Sun-Jupiter conjunction in Libra on Monday, September 26. This amazing combination of power and luck only happens once a year and sounds aloud all clear for growth and expansion in all areas of life for everybody. It doesn't matter what star sign you are. Apparently Pluto which is the planet of revival, of rebirth, of regeneration, is also in agreement with this enthusiastic and life-giving energy because that's the same day it ends its five-month retrograde in Capricorn, your one-on-one -on -one relationship zone, and turns direct. Now that the Pluto dragon is awake and moving out of its cave, it will be much easier to confront its demands. Another sign of good fortune arrives on Tuesday, when Mars leaves Sagittarius for Capricorn. Now Mars is exalted in Capricorn, meaning it's the happiest, happiest Mars can be because Mars likes to do a lot of hard work and Capricorns are the hard workers. Since this aggressive Mars vibration resonates in harmony with the energy of the ambitious Capricorn goat, this means there are rewards in store, Cancerians, for those of you willing to put in the hard yakka. And if you know anyone born under the sign of Capricorn, they are your go-to person. Scorpios too, because Venus is moving into Scorpio over the weekend. So it really is going to be a time when anything and everything is possible. So it's important that you push forward and don't hold back. And if you sound and feel a bit demanding, so be it, Cancerians, because there's plenty of people to back you up. The saying, home is where the heart is, was definitely coined with a Cancer in mind. And this month, an accent on your domestic angle turns your thoughts to property, lifestyle changes and family affairs. Of course, we're not that far off from holidays. It's also a great time if for real estate. Real estate is really booming. And now that Mercury's moved forward, it's a good time to think about whether you want to sell, stay, increase the, have you know, increase the rent if you've got a roommate or try and negotiate with your uh, landlord to not increase the rent. It's time to get busy with changes you've been considering for some time and to make yourself more financially secure as well. Partners may be overbearing right now, but there's no need to wage war. If you're with someone born under the sign of Capricorn, for example, there could be a little back and forth going on. But that's okay because sometimes, you know, those heated arguments and debates clear the air and everyone gets back to business. So it's a really good time. To keep thinking that. We had a rough sep uh, September. October is two thumbs up. Thanks so much and I'll speak to you again soon.